in Louisville, Kentucky back in 1942 as Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali, no denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC tonight. Well, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. I mean, it won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, if you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. He's a tremendous boxer. So now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC's office. And he's got a lot of size. He's got a lot of length. People really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. Muhammad Ali steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him. And eventually, you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sergey Pavlovich. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the Ready. octagon for this one. Ready. Do it. All right, here we go with the start of round one. A couple of well-rounded athletes here to be sure. We sat down with both of them in the fighter meeting, and they said they're kind of going to see what the other gives them before going too heavy on the stretch. You absolutely have to take your time. When you're fighting a guy that feels like you're looking in the mirror, you cannot make mistakes. you got to think about how you would... Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Making all these shots count. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Side control now. Right to the knee on belly. Getting the ball here. Well, he's got his back now. Just over three minutes to go now. Pavlovich is really pressing now. And he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pavlovich is right back to the full mount. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes it started to improve. It started to elevate so he knows that he can get the finish. Right on the button. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Pavlovich gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's looking for that left hand. 
Not there. to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ali. Oh, massive right hand. Man, both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Pavlovich gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. This is a terrible position. Oh. That horn sounds means oh. we have reached the oh. end of Stop. round one. Stop! Deep breath and recover and relax. Let's get that heart rate down. Breathe deeply. You're looking a little tired out there last round. This round... All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Straight right is there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Pavlovich is back into full guard. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching for the upkick, making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice jab by Pavlovich. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving ahead. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Well, there's a oh, oh, yeah. oh, Keeping busy now, connecting with Fight those back. punches. Fight back. Pavlovich's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh! The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Pavlovich. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Pavlovich, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Under 30 seconds. Getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. 
He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Big power shot there. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence. Oh, it landed. Oh, oh. oh he gets up. The question is for how long? His opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. That's a good strike right there. Well, the striking clinic continues, and... He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an X. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. That was a slick transition. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too it is the most secure position in fighting you get an underhook on one side you keep a half guard on the other and then you just go to work it's the safest position especially for a wrestler yes yeah, smart adjustment yep pavlovich ground and pound from half guard now oh nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. 90 seconds to go. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Now the uppercuts are coming. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it's even... Oh, my goodness! Ooh! Whoa! Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so what a round it was for him. Multiple knockdowns. When we sat down with him on Thursday, he said, when I touch guys in this division, they go down, and he proved prophetic. That's exactly what happened in the previous The round. guy has lightning in his hands. Every time he is landing, he is putting his opponent on his butt over and over, knocking him down. He has not found the finish, but he needs to stay patient, find the perfect shot, hit him with that kill shot. You get that kill shot off, and there will be no more getting up. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his Ready face, and showed, Ready. this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my team. Right-left combo by Pavlovich. Punches in butt. His feet. Oh! Oh! And the will do it! Oh my goodness! With a massive highlight at the garden! Oh my lord!
All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Muhammad Ali! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family.